First of all, let me point out that this is a biblical practice. Uh, James, the last chapter of James, confess your sins one to another. We better read that. Confess your faults. Yeah. And by the way, I don't think this is just confession of sins. Confession your fault confess your faults. This is James five sixteen. Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of faith shall save the sick, the Lord shall raise him up. If he have committed sins, they'll be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, pray for one another, that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. Okay, first thing I point out is there's a context. There's, this is a context of a community in which the life of God is flowing. Uh, there is a, a fellowship, sharing, a common life. There is a, an, a, a pattern of authority, elders in the church. Uh, and uh, in that context, there is a place for confession. Uh, to confess one's sins is helpful not to get forgiveness because you see one's faults and one's sins we don't just need forgiveness we need other things as in addition to forgiveness we need help we need understanding uh, we need people to pray for us not just for the sins to be forgiven but that for the cause of the weakness to be remedied and uh, so there's I think every positive reason and I will tell you personally that confession I have known to save the sanity of many Christians and some very important people in the church. One of the hardest, one of the greatest burdens that leaders have to bear in the church is they cannot confess. They think. Now they have to. They need someone to bear their souls to and simply let it be known what, 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 not only what they have done, but what their temptations are, what their trials are, uh, what their burdens are. And sometimes those all turn out to be the same thing. Uh, so that's a very important uh, function. Uh, it, needless to say, it has to be handled carefully. You should not confess your faults to everybody that comes down the street. Uh, it, the confession is useful only if it meets in the person to whom you are confessing a responsible, effective spirit that can actually be of help to you. I do not think that we should practice confession in the style that is uh, associated traditionally with a church which is going to dispense merit to forgive the sins as, as you confess them. That is theologically false, in my opinion. And, and I think that doesn't get to the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter really is to be able to receive help that you might have victory over the sin. That you might be led into, a, not just to sin and get forgiveness, and sin and get forgiveness, and sin and get forgiveness, but to enter into a helping relationship from the body of Christ around you so that you could have victory over the thing that's defeating you. 